Hey everyone, it's Deja with Knit and Crochet Ever After, and today I got a filling <laughs> refilled, and the half half of my face is numb, so I may be looking weird when I talk because I'm trying not to bite my cheek, um, but I feel very heavy, so <laughs> I feel like I'm drooling. I might be. <laughs> Anyways, um, we're here for this cowl. We're here for this wobbly rainbow knit cowl. That is a forever free pattern. I'll take it off so you can see the colors better. Um, this is one of my forever free patterns. If you are new, welcome. I do different kinds of pattern tutorials, stitch tutorials. I have forever free patterns like this cowl pattern, um, usually pretty easy patterns. I also have limited time free patterns where it could be a more difficult pattern that's going to go into my paid pattern shop later but I'll give it away for a limited time and I'll give you a tutorial on it so it's kind of giving back to people that subscribe and and follow me so be sure to do that if you like getting free stuff but back to the wobbly rainbow so this is made from desert panda fiber arts yarn i love this indie dyer her yarn is so beautiful i have a link in the description for this this is the silky lush sock yarn or silky sock <laughs> it's those three words in a certain order um but it is sock weight super soft and silky and it has a ton of yardage. It's 420 yards for this. It's 437 yards in the hank. But I used a two millimeter US zero 32 inch circular needle. So a very small needle, but we needed dense stitches to get this effect. At the end of the video, I'm going to show you what this yarn started out looking like. So that way, if you can't find this yarn, but you like this effect that it gives, you can kind of match how that hank is created because it's very kind of specific. So I'll explain that at the end of the video. But you're going to download the pattern in the description, grab your needles and yarn, and we're going to do the super easy two pattern, four stitch row, four stitch two row pattern <laughs> repeat. And then I'm going to show you how to do a very stretchy bind off so that you're one side isn't too tight compared to the other. So get all your stuff and let's get going. Okay, so this is a super easy two row repeat. Um, you can see it's kind of like a chainy garter kind of, but not quite. And it's really two um, alternating stitches each row or round. So we're gonna be doing the opposite of what you see below. So we have two pearls and two knits, so we're going to do the opposite. We're going to do two knits and two pearls. And that's the only stitches we're doing, <laughs> knits and pearls. So two knits, two pearls, and you're going to continue that all the way around. So knit one, knit two, purl one, purl two. And it gives this kind of offset garter so it's not quite garter stitch, but it looks almost similar, but it's just got a little bit of interest, which I liked, and it worked really well with this yarn to give it, you know, let the little color changes shine. So I, it took me a bit to pick out the stitch pattern for this. I did a lot of swatching. Um, once we get to our new round, You'll be working in the round in a multiple of four, so if you want to change the width of that, just change it by multiples of four. We now will start with two knits below, so we have to do the opposite, so we begin with two purls. So super easy, basic. The main thing that I wanted to show you on the video was the bind off because it's a little bit different. It's not just a normal bind off. It's going to give a good amount of stretch so that way your cowl isn't, you know, really tight on one side. So I'm going to show you how to do that once we get to the end of this row. And here we are. Okay, so this bind off is good for lace projects where you have to block, but I really wanted both sides of my cowl to not look 
tight. So I did a crochet cash cast on on one side and then this lace type bind off on the other side. So you're basically going to begin normal and we're only gonna do knit stitches for this. We're not gonna bind off and pat. Okay, so we're going to knit one, then we're gonna knit two. Then we're gonna slip both of these back over. And you can keep your needle, because we're gonna knit two together through the back loop. You can keep your needle here and just go for it, or if you wanna take it out and resituate yourself either way. But we're gonna knit two through the back loop and slide that off. Then we're gonna knit the next stitch. We're gonna move both of those back over. Now this time I'm gonna do it with it already on there. Then we're gonna knit bring it back over, knit two together through the back loop, and we're going to continue that. So either slip, pull out your needle, knit two through the back loop, or just do it at the same time. So I'm going to finish this and show you how stretchy this is. Okay, here I am with the last stitch. Okay, I'm going to do that back loop. And off. Bring the tail through. It's twisted. Okay. So here is our bound off edge, and you can see how stretchy that is. So I even could have cast it on a little bit looser, but once I block it, it'll be pretty even, but you can see that it stretches very well. It's not tight to where I can't, um, you know, where it's gonna be like opposite, where it's like super tight up here and loose down below. So that is the stitch. Let's go wrap it up and do some final thoughts. So that's it, You super simple, right? Like you can go to town. This is a great project for when you are watching TV or on the road nice and small easy portable um, just make sure that you're reading your stitches because you got to do the opposite of what was the road before so if you drop anything you can pick it up and figure it out so nice easy project I told you I was going to show you what the hank looked like before we started so here is the picture of it you can see it's got kind of like the full gray and then the rainbow is just one little section so it's very interesting how that turns into this. So if you are trying to get something with a similar effect and you can't find the same yarn or you can't get it, find something that is similar to that at your local yarn shop. Kind of a full color with a little bit of chunk of color in one area. So that is the Wobbly Rainbow Cowl. I am Deja with Knit and Crochet Ever After. Be sure to like and subscribe. And thank you for watching.